Today I have another Nendoroid that I'm adding to my collection and it is Salty from Do Ra Ra Ra. After having watched the first season of the anime years ago, I finally got around to reading the manga recently and I read the first four volumes and then the Psycho Arc three volumes, the Yellow Scarves three volumes, and then the Reed Dollars seven volumes of what is out for that arc so far. But when I watched the anime, I did really, really like Celti. But then when I read the manga, I just absolutely fell in love with her. And I was posting about it on Instagram and someone told me, did you know that Celti had a Nendoroid? So I looked into it and I don't remember what year this was released, but I believe it was like eight or nine years ago. So I was thinking, oh, I'm never gonna find a secondhand listing that would be in good condition or that would be affordable. So I was really surprised when I looked and I found this listing for Celti and I was able to get it at a price that I was comfortable paying. But Do Ra 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 is a shonen series that follows a lot of really strange characters. There is a lot of gang activity. There are some high school age characters as well as adults. There are some supernatural elements especially around salty. <laughs> but I'll show a couple panels real quick of our girl salty. She's just such a cool character. I love her design. But as you can see, I've already taken her out of the box. As soon as it arrived, I pulled her out right away so I could check and make sure there wasn't anything missing and that everything was in good condition. So I'm really, really pleased, really, really excited to get her set up and on my shelf, but I'll follow the same pattern as my other Nendoroid unboxings and setups. So I'll show the exterior of the box and then I'll show the pieces, the instructions, and then get her set up. Alright, and now we're gonna get her set up. <laughs> 